Bullock County Jail employees say they were treated so badly by the jailer they had to leave. WDRB uncovered surveillance video from inside the jail that shows what was happening. Valerie Chin investigates in tonight's WDRB Sunday edition. Evidently, nobody gives a f but you know what? They're going to start giving a f I guarantee you they are. June 19th. Are you afraid to call me? Well, what the f Inside the Bullock County Detention Center. But just like this just today, was he just like him doing, doing like he did? That tells me that he don't give a f about me or you all you want. After hearing complaints about how the jailer Paul Watkins is treating workers, WDRB filed an open records request and uncovered this video. Do you have my phone now? Why the f didn't you call me? I don't have an answer for that. On this Saturday morning, Watkins talks to an employee about others calling out of work. You don't see that kind of treatment towards white males in that facility. You never have any problems with white males. It's either a females or someone who's of color or a different uh, background. Brittany Costa is a former internal affairs captain at the jail and says her sexual orientation made her a target for Watkins discrimination. Me being with a female and he's made it very clear that he does not agree with my lifestyle or my partner's lifestyle at that time um, and he's made it very clear to others uh, using very derogatory statements. Um, um, it's just very degrading. I've gotten complaints about harassment, uh, the way that he, he tells, treats them, speaks to them. Wayne McMillan is a FOP chaplain, former jail employee, and is on the Bullock County Sheriff's Merit Board. He treated most of the white males with respect. He treated the females as they were lower than him. And what about this chick here? She doing all right? I come in here for a an examination. Group. Employees say it's a pattern of behavior that has led to a string of lawsuits against Watkins, alleging discrimination, racism, and inmate mistreatment. I was asked to do a description of kind of my issues and my concerns, and as you can see, I mean, I have pages and pages of Costa is working with an attorney on a new lawsuit against the jailer. What did he say specifically? What language did he use that crossed the line? Um, the fact that I was a female and I didn't know my place, um, you know, I took pride in my job and I loved what I did, but being called a every day, um, not only to my face, but behind my back. And she has filed a U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity claim after she was fired and says she was not given a reason. And we were having a very intense conversation and he told me to shut my down. And Gerald Walken said, I'm the jailer and if you don't like it, then see you later. Watkins was elected and took office in January 2019. The Bullock County Judge Executive has said he could only appoint a new jailer if there's evidence of financial wrongdoing. There's no standards and there's no accountability. WDRB reached out to Watkins several times asking him to tell his side of the story, but he never responded. This is what he said in the jail surveillance video. If you all get some of some in here, you think I'm bad, they ain't going to hell, they'll be worse than I ever dreamed of being. Valerie Chen, WDRB News.